Good morning, friends. Um, it's a beautiful day today. It's like going to be the last warm day before. <clears throat> it's like supposed to be almost 80 today and then tomorrow in the 40s. And here comes fall. So hopefully I get energized as I was yesterday with that Qigong. Oh my goodness. That I just rewatched the video for from yesterday and I'm like I felt so good yesterday and it was that Qigong. So anyways, that link is in the bottom of yesterday's video for uh, doing the Qigong and get your energy going in the morning. And it's only a half an hour and it's, it's lovely. It's like really slow movements, but you're drawing up your energy and you sort of slap down your body and wake it up. So anyway, <clears throat> that's in yesterday's, uh, that would be number 11. So and then this was in number 10s. This was the number, the little video I, or picture I was talking about, this little boy with the double amputee. Your excuse is invalid. I used to have that on my, um, oh, it's all over the place. And I love that picture and I found it. So I wanted to share that with you. And that was, his name's not Matthew, it's Cody. So, and that is on number 10. So number 12. <clears throat> Rereading yesterday's. So nice. Okay. And so true. Every thought you think has a physical reaction on your body, Marissa Pure. So, what you think about, you become. Old saying, I think it's even in the Bible. Um, and so, this is so just a reminder of how important it is for you to. Keep your thoughts straight. Once you notice your thoughts going the wrong direction, the only way they're going to turn around is with you. You're the one who has to stop it and catch it. And then for me, the best way is to just get present moment and just into what I'm doing at that moment. What I'm seeing, smelling, hearing, feeling, um, uh, let my sense, reel my senses in. Uh, in the Upanishads, they talk about this chariot that you you have, you are. Um, you have five horses that are driving your chariot, and those are your senses, the sight, the smell, the taste, the um, oh, hearing, and all the feeling, touching. Uh, <laughs> five senses. Um, five horses driving your chariot. And then you have the reins, and that is your um, choices that you make and your ego, your intelligence and your ego are your reins. And then somebody else is actually driving and holding on to those reins. That would be your mind. And then uh, there's the chariot that is your body. And then you're the rider in the chariot. Imagine a stagecoach, even. And the senses get out of control. And the mind follows the senses sometimes, doesn't pull in the reins, doesn't say, whoa, ego, whoa, imagination, slow down. You have to pull your reins back and stop those thoughts from going crazy because... If you have crazy thoughts and you're doing crazy things, just following your senses, it's going to affect your body. They're going to crash your chariot. They're going to um, spin around a corner and lose a wheel, you know, or, or just uh, the whole axle will fall off. It really affects your body what you're thinking. So the thoughts are like, oh, my back is killing me. You know, guess what? Your back will kill you. You'll end up going to some crappy surgery for your back and um, it'll be the death of you because you'll not um, stay active and you'll, your body will just deteriorate from you. One day saying, oh my back, it's just killing me. Yeah, watch your words, watch what you say. Watch especially what you say to yourself about your body. And so that's just so important of um, 
being careful of your thoughts and how it affects your body. So love your body. I love your body. Love my body. Take care, friends. Have a great day.